A shout out to the businesses taking a walk on the wild side with us. Peterson Plumbing and Heating, QCA Pools and Spas, and r and Sports. Nature is awesome. From big to small, there's so much adventure. From the deep and dangerous wilderness to your own backyard. We take you on a journey inside a world like you have never seen. Right there. The owl. An inside look at what it takes to preserve, rehab, and respect our wildlife. There it is again. And just what nature photographers are willing to put themselves through to capture and share the beauty of our natural world for all to see. That's wild. Let's go. You have probably never seen someone catching fish like this. It's a cool way to conserve a precious resource. And it all starts with a little shocking. And it ends with something else you've probably never seen before. This. Wow. To find out what's happening here, we go to Jeremiah, the aquatic biologist for Constellation Energy. We've caught a lot of fish between nine and 11 pounds, which would be a trophy for most anybody. Um, but we've probably caught 50 to 60 fish over 10 pounds. And how many eggs would you say? So for a 10 pound fish, we're looking at right around 200,000 or a little more per fish. So how many total so far do you think? So we're, we're over 10 million for sure, maybe up around 12 million. And you don't know that until you actually spawn them. Sometimes they won't spawn. Um, but more, th more than enough than what we'll need. The hopes are this unique process will produce about 175,000 more fish to put back in local waterways, more than making up for those impacted by the use of water for energy production. But the time window is short in the spring. They have to catch the fish before they drop their eggs into the river and bring them here to Constellation's Quad Cities Fish Hatchery for the next stage, making a little pancake batter. Of course, to make pancakes, you've got to have the main ingredient, eggs. And like people, sometimes walleye need a little help to get things going. It's an HCG, so yeah, it's just the health ovulation. Then you put it back in the tank and wait. Those are eggs, and this process is called stripping the eggs. Delana Reed has a bachelor's degree in bio with a focus on sustainability and conservation. She's about to get a lesson few have ever seen. And I was just so shocked. Dave was like, okay, you ready? You're gonna spawn one. I was like, what? Your first time at this? You uh, nervous? Yeah, very first time. I'm nervous. All I can say about that is you should be. You feel the pressure to get all the eggs out? I'm more worried about dropping it. <laughs> you just saw me drop one a little bit ago, right? Yeah. You've been, you've I've been, been doing it for far. like 20 years, so. It's not very far. So is it going under? Yep. I'm okay. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay. Let me try this. Now we got to dry it off. I feel like I have a spin. Okay. All right. Go ahead and sit here. Probably start with your hand a little farther up her belly, yep. Longer strokes. A little strokes. long strokes, yep. I can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm trying. Tilt her tail down just a little bit. Down? Yep. Okay. And then kind of turn it forward. Toward you just a little bit because it makes her body an angle, so they're going there you go. a little bit a little better. Yeah, there you go. It's awkward, but once you figure it out, it's not. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited right now. And you have to sort of squeeze them out of the fish, and it's it's kind of scary at first because female walleyes are typically pretty big, and so you have to sort of hold them under your arms so they don't flop out everywhere because you don't want to lose all your eggs. Um, and so you're squeezing them into these pans. 
and you have to try and keep them really really dry because the eggs will like close after a certain time period like a minute or so and then they're not usable anymore so how did it feel to be able to to get those eggs out of there. It was uh, super empowering. I felt super cool afterwards, and it, I just told everybody that day, I'm like, guess what I got to do at work today? It was like super fun. Dr. David Burgerhouse, AKA Doc, is the project director from Southern Illinois University. He's been doing this for decades. He finishes the fish to get the most out of the collection. It's a team effort. The females go back into the tank to go back to the river. The eggs are just about ready for the pancake batter. First we, we get the eggs and then we add um, the sperm to a water solution for the walleye. That's how we do it. And then we have this extended sperm, so we'll add that, we'll put it in a pan. We'll mix for two minutes, um, let everything intermingle. Then we'll add the clay, and that helps with clumping, because if they clump in big clumps, then they tend to get all fungusy, and the ones in the middle die. And this is for egg hardening. They'll sit in here for at least an hour. I think the thing I like most is that it's a mix of science and experimentation and also practical production. You're trying to figure out things to be able to use the facilities that you have to grow the animals that you need to, to stock the river. So it's, it's not just pure science for data's sake, but it's not just pure production. It's figuring things out. When these guys are ready about two inches or so long, they'll be released. Since Doc is the senior spawner, he gets this distinction. Actually, Dr. Dave Burgerhaus, we always joke, you know, he's caught 10 million walleyes a year. I mean, he's got to be the best fisherman in the world. And Delaney got a day she will never forget. Between a decent sized walleye, you could almost probably, between like two decent sized females, you could probably get over a million. So, how did it feel to be able to? to get those eggs out of there. It was uh, super empowering. I felt super cool afterwards. And it, I just told everybody that day, I'm like, guess what I got to do at work today? It was like super fun. And I told uh, Christian, the other crew member, I said, we're gonna make this pan and this basket is gonna be just our eggs. And these are gonna be just our fish. <laughs> and so we're gonna watch them. And now they're all out in the canal. So hopefully they get to be nice little fish. And we got an up close look at this. <laughs> That's wild. That's wild. Let's go.